One of the oldest buildings in downtown Victoria has escaped demolition and instead will be given new life by a Vancouver developer. We first told you Friday about the big plans for the Janion Hotel. When it was built in 1891, it was state of the art. It had 50 rooms and all of them had electricity. But that beautiful building has been vacant and derelict for decades. Now it's going to anchor a massive redevelopment, which will be bordered by the new Johnson Street Bridge. CTV's Andrew Johnson has more on the story. He joins us live. Andrew. Hudson, the Janion's new owner, says this all happened sort of by accident, but it is now likely the derelict properties on either side of the new bridge. And of course, the bridge itself will be under construction at the same time. A skylight spills sunshine onto the grand central staircase inside the Janion Hotel. Well, it was grand in the late 19th century before the majestic hotel became a crumbling, neglected downtown derelict. We're really excited and we think it's a story that needs to be told because the Janion's been sitting for so long and it's time for Victoria to kind of get behind it and get behind what's going to happen here. It just all needs to be re structurally repaired. Reliance the Stone Foundation wall. $2.49 million for the hotel and has also purchased the Waterfront Transport Canada land behind it with plans to restore the Janion to its former glory and add a second building behind it. Inside will be businesses and roughly 300 square foot studio condos. Been very successful with micro suites in Vancouver micro lofts and we're hoping to do that here. We think there's a demand for it. <laughs> very livable, very well designed, small apartments that uh, can either be rented or, or purchased. We haven't quite decided yet and um, they're very popular. He's hoping to salvage the skylight, staircase and many of the original fireplaces. City Council's mm -hmm. heritage guru likes what she's hearing. So of all the buildings in Victoria that I get inquiries about, either by residents or visitors, this is the top of the list. It appears the new Johnson Street Bridge will be anchored on the north and the south by newly transformed heritage buildings. Reliance is also behind the proposed $25 million makeover of the northern junk buildings, which will go to a public hearing this fall. The Janion will be designed by Victoria architect Paul Merrick. The opportunities come up commensurate with the realization of the new crossing to the city and the opportunity to create an, an entrance, a place of entrance that, of course, the Janion will be the front row participant in. The city is thrilled the old town area is being rapidly redeveloped with an eye toward heritage. Northern Junk, Janion Building now, the Union, uh, Trevor Linden's building on the other side, Bayview, Dockside, even Point uh, Hope is looking to, to refurbish their, their shipyards. It's good for a north end of downtown, it's good for a local economy. The Janion was only operated as a hotel for two years. Historians don't think the beautiful building ever got a fair shake. That could finally change as soon as next summer when Reliance hopes to begin construction. Hudson, one of the first questions people ask about the Janion is why it went out of business so quickly as a hotel if it was so nice. Well, it was a dry hotel built in a wet part of town. For some reason, the people who built the Janion didn't pursue a liquor license, and so many of the clientele who frequented the area gave it a pass. By the time it did get a license, its owners were out of money. Then it began its career of being used as office space, a warehouse, cold storage facility, you name it. Well, in those days, that could drive the traffic away, couldn't it? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> These days, too, I guess. <laughs> All right. No, it's exciting news. Andrew, thank you. You're